Hey guys, I'm Rachel and I have hamsters and I'm here to tell you what's going on with my hammies this week. And if you haven't watched my channel before, I do weekly updates on what's happening with my hamsters. I have two Rubberovsky hamsters who live separately and also two dwarf hamsters who also live separately. And I just kind of document what I'm up to, how their care is going, if I bought something new, if it's working, etc. Um, and mostly I'm just doing this to kind of like show how you go from from zero where I started to you know learning about hamsters and how to caretake for them and also just the little things that come up, medical issues. Thankfully I haven't had too many of those or really any yet because my hamsters are mostly young but um, you know I do want to show what it takes to take care of a hamster and hopefully this is helpful to you and I really appreciate all your comments and feedback. It's so helpful to hear from everyone and what they do to take care of their hamsters and most of all just to like feel like there are humans in the world. Isn't that great? I mean, mostly I've replaced humans with hamsters, but <laughs> it's still nice to think that there are some out there. I had to take my two Rubberovsky hamsters, Steven and Sophia, to get their nails trimmed this past weekend, and it actually went really well. I was like super nervous about it. I think I was more nervous than the hamsters <laughs> because I was so afraid that they're such nervous little things and I was afraid that it would be really stressful for them. And you know, they're so fast and I was like, oh my God, what if the vet drops them or what if they can't do it, you know, or something happens. But actually it was, it was really easy. I did, I did do a lot of research into the vet that I took them to and I found a small animal vet that I saw reviews from people who had hamsters and it seemed like I also called them and said like, hey, I have Roborowski hamsters, can you guys deal with them? Because, you know, they're really small and fast. And they said, yep, no problem. So, uh, yeah, do make sure you do your research. But um, I had a good experience and it cost me $22 per hamster. So it wasn't nothing. I feel like it's comparable to if I had a manicure. <laughs> so it's like, I'm just giving manicures to my hamsters. Yeah, but it went pretty well, but it did make me think I would really like to be more proactive about keeping their nails trim. And also I just generally want to provide them with experiences that are enriching to them and exciting and continually challenge them. So I bought a few things on the internet. I kind of shopped around a few places looking for where to buy the things that I wanted to buy. And I bought from Amazon. I I don't have any particular allegiance to one hamster or pet store over another. I do find that it's hard to find one place where you can get all of the hamster stuff that you might need and want, which is sort of a bummer. I wish that there was like one store that I could support and maybe there is, I just haven't found it. But in the US, hamster products, it just feels like a whole thing and you have to research every product and, ah, and they're not always available. So in this instance, I ordered from Amazon and everything I, order, I ordered, I will link to down below and hopefully from a few different places if you're interested in checking out these items for your little, little fuzzy things, you can. So this is box one. Unfortunately, I'm getting it in a few boxes, which is so insanely wasteful. Oh. I usually choose like ship it to me slower and give me fewer boxes, but I feel like it doesn't matter. So I got three. I think this is the brand Zoo Med. Yep. Okay. You can see that. It's the Zoo Med medium size cork rounds. And um, they're really light, which is nice. So I'm not so worried about, I mean, they're probably heavy to a hamster, but they're not crazy heavy. I was gonna put one in each of the Robos cages. So Steven and Sophia, hopefully. And then maybe one in the play bin of Shirley and Laverne. I have a few other wooden items coming, so I'm not like totally set on this, but I'll see once I get them. The first thing I'm gonna do with these, because I read a ton of reviews about these things, and they're actually, they're sold typically for reptiles. And what I've read is that a lot of people seem to have like some sort of insect that came with these wood rounds. So what I'm gonna do is stick these in the freezer, and I'm just gonna freeze them for like a few days just to be, be sure. I think you could also bake them like 200 degrees to kill anything, but I'm just gonna go with the freezer method because it seems a little less flammable. And <laughs> and I'm gonna, hopefully that will kill any insects that might be in these. So it's safe for my hamsters. And then find a way to integrate it into my hamster cages so they can enjoy playing around on these because they are pretty cool looking. Okay, so, 
I said, I'm trying to give my hamsters more wooden things and kind of like scratchy things that um, they can climb on and try to sand down their nails with. So I got two of these little Night Angel wooden hides. These are pretty small. So I'm gonna give these to my robos, but not to the dwarves. I also bought two two packs of these um, coconut hides. And I got the kind that's textured, not the smooth kind, because again, I wanted them to get some practice climbing on things and, you know, something kind of rough. And these are so cute and like the perfect size. So I figured you can't go wrong with this. So I have two of those. So one for each hamster, because I have four hamsters, Steven, Sophia, and Laverne and Shirley. And then I got more water bowls, but I wanted to try something different this time because I was feeling like, I really like the water bowls that I use, but I only have four of them and they're not super cheap. I wanted to give water bowl options to Laverne and Shirley too, but I didn't have enough for everyone. So I bought a few water bowls that were in a pack of four. And I think they're basically like tea lights. I know that a lot of hamster people use tea, glass tea lights as hamster bowls. So I figured I would give these a try. <laughs> They're totally tea lights, but I'm glad that I only have four. I didn't want like a pack of 24 of them. Maybe that would be convenient. I just like don't have storage space. They're nice and heavy, which is exactly what I was looking for. I was too afraid that if I bought a tea light and maybe most tea lights are fairly heavy, but I can't tell online. These are nice and heavy, so I'm not worried about the hamsters tipping them over while they drink. And what I like is it's a small, it's really small. I think it's smaller than the little white bowls that I have. So I don't waste as much water because I, you know, I give them water and then I throw it out each night and I give them new water and it feels a little bit wasteful, especially because I give them distilled water to make sure that it doesn't have a lot of chlorine in it. And uh, man, I've been going through that distilled water kind of quickly. All right, so that's everything. I'm gonna put all the wooden products, all the natural products in my freezer, just like I did with the cork rounds, just to make sure that there's no chance of any bugs or anything, because like, who needs that? No point in taking a risk. All right, I'll see you guys later. All right, so this is the play bin that I've created for the Robos, Steven and Sophia. I already had this play bin set up and you may have seen it before, but I did add the new elements so they're you can see the coconut hide there, the two night angel logs, and over there is the medium sized cork round. In addition, I have eco earth coconut fiber. That's a lava rock. There's some um, millet seed and there's Steven. Look at how cute he is. <laughs> Oh, that's kind of a long fall. He doesn't normally do that. Here's little Sophia. It's her turn to play in the digging box. <laughs> she particularly likes to dig in the eco earth and look for little seeds. 
So I'll hide all sorts of tiny seeds for her, flax seeds, all sorts of things, and she just goes to town. It is so cute. And now on to the dwarf hamster's play bin. This is little Shirley here. And there she goes into a box. So I took the budget-friendly play bin that I had made a few weeks ago and I added the cork rounds. These two are actually cork flats, so they're not full rounds. Actually, I really like them and I will put a link to those below also. And as you can see, I connected this bin to her, her bin cage here with some some tubes so she can go back and forth as she pleases and I do this with both the hamsters so they have some some time in the play bin that is at their own leisure and as much time as they want to spend in there. 